गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टूडे वे विल डिस्कस अबाउट इक्लिब्रियम इक्लिब्रियम इज अ कंडीशन इन विच फोर्स कैंसिल वन एनदर्स मीन्स वन फोर्स कैंसिल्स एनदर फोर्स दे फोर द रिजल्टेंट फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन इट इज जीरो इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज बैलेंस और इट इज अ कंडीशन इन विच इन्फ्लुएंस आर कैंसल्स बाय अदर्स रिजल्टिंग इन अ स्टेबल्स बैलेंस और अनचेंजिंग सिस्टम द रिजल्टेंट ऑफ ऑल फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन इट इज अ जीरो इक्लिब्रियम इन स्पोर्ट्स बैलेंस इज द एबिलिटी टू स्टे अपराइट और स्टे इन अ कंट्रोल ऑफ बॉडी मूवमेंट्स बैलेंस बैलेंस मीन्स एबिलिटी टू कंट्रोल योर बॉडी कंट्रोल योर बॉडी विदाउट मूवमेंट अगेंस्ट ग्रेविटी and stability means ability to control your body during movement against the gravity this is the difference between balance and stability equilibrium is of two type static equilibrium and dynamic equilibrium static means fixed dynamic means motion static equilibrium of balance it is body is body is at rest or completely motionless it is a state where body is at rest or motionless like just say is standing on one leg okay this is a static equilibrium there is no motion say is stable okay stable in a uh, stable stable in a stable body is at rest or completely motionless it is a state where the body is rest or motionless like standing on one leg and dynamic means all the applied and inner force applied force as well as the in uh, internal uh, initial force acting and the moving body are in a balance resulting in a movement with unchanging speed or direction to control the equilibrium and achieve balance stability stability need to be maximized it is a state where body is in motion with un unchanged acceleration created by the applied or um, initial um, inertial force like walking running or uh, running on a small base applied and inertial force on a moving body are balanced therefore there is a unchanging speed or direction the movement there is a movement uh, there is a movement with unchanging speed or direction this is a dynamic for example uh, for example walking walking or running in a small base balancing center of gravity center of gravity it is a uh, center of gravity okay center of gravity it's a point point in which the body weight is equally balanced in all the direction center of gravity it's a point <laughs> it's a point in which the body weight is balanced in all in all directions balance and stability depend on center of gravity it is the ability to maintain the line of gravity of body between the base of support and minimal posture posture away the scene of stability in expose the stability stability of an athlete depend upon the center of gravity it is exactly in the middle of the body around which it is rotated freely in any directions and where the weight of the body is centers it is exactly at a point along with the midline of the body that is near the navel point and in a sports the persons who has the ability to balance balance himself whether it's stationary or in moving is a key to success in the sports and physical activity
प्रिंसिपल ऑफ सेंट्रल ऑफ सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन रेस्लिंग द इन रेस्लिंग द डाउन प्लेयर द डाउन प्लेयर्स लाइ डाउन और बैंड डाउन दैट इज लोअर हिज सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी इफ द सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी इज लो दैन द स्टेबिलिटी स्टेबिलिटी इज मोर ठीक है ही ही लोअर हिज सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी बाई एक्सपेंडिंग एक्सपेंडिंग द लेग एंड हैंड अपने लेग और हैंड को एक्सपेंड एक्सपेंड करके ही इज इंक्रीजिंग द स्टेबिलिटी सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल इन रेस्ट इन वेट लिफ्टिंग द प्लेयर वाइड एंड हिज बेस बाई कीपिंग द फीट अपार्ट अपने फीट के डिस्टेंस को थोड़ा लंबा कर देता है विच प्रोवाइड मोर स्टेबिलिटी एंड बैलेंस इफ द बेस इज मोर देर विल बी द मोर स्टेबिलिटी एंड बैलेंस एग्जाम्पल थ्री ड्यूरिंग लैंडिंग प्लेयर्स बैंड हिज लेग विच प्रोवाइड फास्ट कंट्रोल ऑफ स्टेबिलिटी मोर एवर इट रिड्यूस द चांस ऑफ इंजरी फ्रॉम द इम्पैक्ट if he has ability to control the stability principle principle of stability and balance first is first principle of stability and balance center of gravity between the base of support to remain to remain in balance and stable position the center of gravity should be between the base of support okay apne base सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी शुड बी बिटवीन द बेस ऑफ सपोर्ट उनका सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी बेस के सपोर्ट में होना चाहिए वाइड इन द बेस ऑफ सपोर्ट टू इंक्रीज द स्टेबिलिटी वाइड एन ठीक है उसको थोड़ा चौड़ा करिए ठीक है बेस शुड बी वाइड एन वाइड द बेस मोर इज द स्टेबल ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल पेन एंड बॉटल्स पेन हैज लेस बेस as compared to the bottles therefore the bottles is more stable as compared to pencil okay more is the if the base is more that will be the more stable stability will be more lower uh, lower the center of gravity for more stable position the center of gravity should be lower down if the center of gravity is is less that will be the most uh, more stable that will be the more stability expand the base of support means increasing the base base of support if the base of support is increase the um, the stability will be more by increasing the base of support increasing increase friction between the supporting surface greater the fixtures between the supporting surface the body surface and the body greater is the balance friction friction is the opposite force so friction does not allow you to move forward therefore get the friction between the supporting surface and the body between your surface supporting surface and the body then there will be the greater balance increase mass higher higher the mass or weight if the person is heavy then there will be the more stability whereas less mass or less weight there is less stability if the person if the person is 10 kg he he is less stability as the person who is 50 kg the more heavier the weight there will be the more stability push up close to the base of support if the Push a pull of the object is close to the base of support. Then that will be the more stable. That will be the more stability. If you push a pull to the close of support, proper proper catching technique during during catch unstable positions may arise. Thus, proper catching technique. If you have proper catching technique, you should know to receive the impetus of force therefore there will be the more stability proper falling technique proper falling technique you should know the player should know otherwise the injury may arise due to unstable position due to un unstable positions uh, there is a chance of injury therefore you should know a proper technique 
rotation about the axis the players should be aware about the rotation about the axis rotation of the axis as is provide uh, provide easy balance it's provide you to easily balance yourself for example in a moving cycles if you know if you uh, if you have the knowledge about the axis of the moving cycles then then the stationary cycle then and there will be the more more uh, more stability there will be the more uh, more uh, balance if the rotation about the axis if you know about the rotation of axis you will able to balance yourself this these are the principles of stability and balance we have complete our chapters eight chapters fundamentals of anatomy physiology and kinesiology in sports let's once again we do once again we do our past revision revision of these chapters anatomy 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 is a branch of biology which study the human body structure human body structures anatomy study about the structures of human body structures st um, of the human body uh, its shape size its shape size and its uh, interrelation of the various parts of the body the anatomy anatomy study about the body structures structures of our internal body structures of the kidney heart lungs and its shape and how they are interrelated to various part of the body and physiology in physiology we study about the functioning of various organs how the various organs function and what are their effect and how they are interrelated with each others their relationship with each others and what are their and their relationship with the others organs and their effect this is physiology in anatomy we study the structures study study of structures of various organs its shape size and physiology we study the functioning functioning of various organs how the various organs of our body function and what are their effect skeletal system skeletal system it consists bones and joint it's consists bone and joint and joint there are 206 bones in the human body at at a time of birth um, we have across 270 bones and it fuse and become 26 uh, 206 bones in the adulthood bones is divided into three part head sharp and and tail bone there are uh, uh, types types of long bones which is present in the thigh hand etc bones uh, short bones they are short in size q shape they are present in ribs flat bones flat bones they are flat and th this flat bones protect our uh, protect our organs and irregular bones irregular bones they are irregular in shape like in vertebra skull sesamoid bo bone means those who are fixed in the tendons these bones are fixed in the tendons and cartilaginous bones means this these bones are the fixed and soft they are found in the ear and nose joint there are three types of joint immovable joints slightly movable joint and uh, completely movable joint immovable joint means fixed joint or uh, fixed joint this joints um, in this joint there is no movement possible for example in skull joint slightly move uh, slightly movable joint means uh, cartilaginous joint in this joint there is slightly movement slightly movement is possible for example in intervertebration and synovial joint means those joint freely movable joint these are freely movable joint and synovial joints they are um, types of synovial joint ball and socket joint hinge joint 
pivot joint, gliding joint, saddle joint, condyloid joint, ball and socket joint which is present in your hip, hinge joint which is present in your elbow, pivot joint which is present in your neck, gliding, couples, saddle joint which is present in your thumb. Functions of skeletal system, the first function is it support, it support, it support, it provide the framework, structure to the body, it acts as a pillar and structure to the individual, it provides you structure, shape, shape to the body and also protect, skeletal systems protect the internal organs, internal organs like the skulls, brain, like skull protect the brains, ribs protect the heart, levers, etc. So skeletal systems act as a protection junction. Skeletal systems provide junction or attachment. Storehouse. Skeletals act as a storehouse. It uh, it store the minerals, salt, calcium, etc. Manufacturing of red blood cells. Um, the skeletal system manufactures the red blood cells, red blood cells, and it also helps in growth and development. Act as a levers, which act as a levers. Bones act as a levers. Therefore, the movement is possible. Bones act as a levers, and muscle, muscle uh, act as force. Movement skeletal muscle. Skeletal muscle, skeletal muscle attached to the bones provide you external visible movement and ossification. Bones are capable of doing the self repairs. Bones repair itself. If the bone is damaged, it may repair itself. If you take a proper case, proper treatment, it will um, repair itself. Muscular system. Muscular systems, um, every single moment, every moment of our body is due to the muscle, due to the muscle, whether internal or external movement, it is due to the muscle contractions, means shortening and lengthening of muscle. Okay, muscle contraction means shortening and lengthening of the muscle, due to mus muscle uh, contractions, the movement is possible and muscles also help in circulation of blood. They also protect and hold in place the abdominal organs. Muscles also provide the shape to the individuals, protect the bones, bones, internal organs and um, muscles. There are three types of muscle, skeletal muscles, smooth muscles and cardiac muscles. Skeletal muscles or voluntary muscle or straighted muscles. These muscles work according to the will of a person. Okay, this this muscle work according to the will of the uh, will of the person. Uh, for example, the muscle attached to the bones. Thus, they are also known as skeletal muscles. Smooth muscles, smooth muscles or involuntary muscle. This muscle does not work according to the will, will of you. They work, uh, they work uh, even when you are asleep. Okay, these muscles, these muscles are mainly found in uh, internal organ, intestine, stomach, for pushing the food, etc. And cardiac muscle, this is the only muscle which is found in the heart. It is the involuntary in nature. Involuntary in nature and um, it is found only in the heart. Mechanism of muscular contraction. How the muscle contract. Okay. Contract. This muscular movement. How, how the muscular movement possible. Muscle contract or sort. When stimulated by the central nervous system. First. Messages are sent via motor knobs or motor neuron. Motor neuron get through messages are sent to the muscle. Then the motor neurons split into branch. 
motor neurons split uh, split into many branches and that branch is linked attached to each and every muscle fibers when the uh, when the muscle when the motor neuron uh, is stimulated it releases a chemicals at a motor end plane or synapse um when as stimulate okay when a uh, motor neuron as stimulate it releases the chemicals at a motor end plane which in uh, which bring acting and myosin a uh, myosin molecule sliding over each others when the actin and myosin molecule slide over each others the muscle there will be the shortening of muscle fibers this is the mechanism of muscular contraction first is messages are sent via motor neuron motor neuron ke through messages sent hoti hai then motor neuron split into branch and that branch is attached to every muscle fibers when the motor neuron is stimulated it release a chemical wo chemical release karti hai kahan pe at a motors and plate and and that chemicals um release the chemicals which bring the actin and myosin molecules slide over its others resulting in shortening of muscle fiber this is the diagram this is the structures of muscles okay muscle muscle is covered by the uh, epimysium then muscle uh, muscle fibers perimysium endomysium these are the structures and this is the actin actin um Uh, actin and myosin filament actin and myosin filament this actin and myosin filament slide over each other when they slide then the shortening of muscle respiratory system oxygen for oxygen is important component on which our life depend our life depend on oxygen it is very essential it is very essential to every cells and tissue in the body oxygen oxygen is brought into the body when we inhale and its by product that is carbon dioxide is given out when we exhale oxygen the interchange of gas that is oxygen oxygen is fused with the blood and carbon dioxide is diffused from the blood the process of respiration in the process of respiration uh, respiration involves lungs diaphragm respiratory system uh, nose mouth larynx pharynx trachea etc there are two type of uh, respiratory system external respiration and the respirations take place between lungs and blood in this in external respiration the lungs the lungs um take place in lungs with the help of alveoli um the carbon dioxide external in external respiration the carbon dioxide is diffused from the blood that is carbon dioxide is taken out from the blood and oxygen is fused with the blood extended respiration um it is take it is between the lungs and blood and therefore the oxygen is fused with the blood and carbon dioxide is diffused from the blood and internal respirations it in internal respiration it is between the blood blood and the tissue the oxygenated blood and the oxygenated blood uh, reach to the tissue it reach to the tissue where oxygen is used up during the energy productions during the energy productions carbon dioxide is produced that carbon dioxide is um, diffused with the blood for the uh, for uh, diffused with the blood uh, for uh, purification in the purification in the lungs okay external internal external between lungs and blood 
in lungs and blood blood uh, oxygen fused with the uh, blood and carbon dioxide is diffused from the blood and internal mean blood and the tissue the oxygen rich blood oxygen rich blood take place in tissue and it now the uh, in respiratory oxygenated blood rich to the tissue whereas oxygen is used during the energy production energy production ki time mein that an uh, oxygen is used and um, this metabolic actions produce the carbon dioxide this carbon dioxide is carried away by the blood blood to the lungs for purification through the external respiration and the same process in external respiration the blood is purified and it come to the internals and the blood purify blood uh, reach to the tissue for energy production and then carbon dioxide is produced and then it uh, it is carried away by the blood to the lungs for purification this is the process mechanisms mechanisms of breathing mechanisms of breathing how we breathe when we breathe in when we uh, when we breathe in inhale the muscle across the rib the muscle across the rib contract okay muscle across the rib contract it pulls the ribs upward when we breathe in during inhale during inhalations um muscles muscle across the rib case contract okay muscles across the rib contract therefore it pull the rib case upward rib case upward and down dive from downward therefore um therefore uh therefore the size of the lung increase the size of the lung increase as the size of lung increase the volume of lungs increase and there will be the low pressures in the volume in uh, low pressure is developed in the lungs if there is low pressure in the lungs then the uh, then there will be the inhalations and in, in breathing out during exhale uh during exhale during exhale it uh, when we relax when we relax the muscle the rib cage come inward during uh, during exhale kid uh, when the muscle of the diaphragm breathing out the um, when the muscle of the diaphragms and the rib cage relax when it's relax the rib cage come inward diaphragm upward and uh, there is lot of pressures in the lungs due to pressures due to pressure in the lungs the air is breathed out here look at here high pressure is developed in the lungs therefore the press air is pushed out okay during breathing out it case come inward diaphragm upward therefore the uh, therefore uh, the high pressure high pressure is developed in the lungs and the air is pushed out during breathing during breathing the rib cage is pull up rib cage is pull up uh, pull up pull upward and sideward and the diaphragm contract okay thoda sa niche and there is low pressure low pressure is developed in the lungs therefore the air is suck inside this is breathing and this is breathe out and the circulatory system circulatory system means circulation of blood throughout the body circulation the circulatory system it consists of heart blood vessels arteries arterioles capillaries veins etc blood circulation circulation how the blood circulate um mm. through the superior vena cava superior vena cava and inferior vena cava blood
through superior vena and inferior blood enter to the right artery from here to the uh, right ventricles and from through uh, through pulmonary artery it go to the lungs and and then um, in lungs the blood is purified and through pulmonary veins it's come to uh, left left arteries from left artery to left ventricles and left ventricle to through outer it's go back to the blood uh, from outer it's go to the body oxygenated blood go to the body and then the same same process okay this is for lungs here's from the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava here's the impure blood comes and from here's through through pulmonary arteries is go to the lungs for purification from here the blood is purified then purification blood enters to the left left arteries from left arteries it go to the left uh, ventricles from from outer it's go to the purified blood go to the body go to the body and then again the impure blood comes to the left right arteries from right arteries and this this is the whole process of circulation of blood how the blood circulate in the body and your heart rate heart rate it is it is the number of pumping of the heart in one minute in one minute 72 72 times per minute and stroke volume is the amount of blood it is the amount of blood pump out by the heart in one beat one beat me how much the blood is pump out by the heart it is about uh, 110 milli, uh, milliliters per beat and car beat output is the amount of blood pump pump out by the heart in one minute in one minute how much blood is pump out by the heart and it is about um 20 liters where in the train at least in train train at least 20 liters approach and in normal 5 to 6 liters blood pressures blood pressure is the pressures force exerted by the blood on the blood um on the wall of the blood vessels on the wall of the arteries force pressures exerted by the blood on the wall of the arteries and it is two type systolic and diastolic systolic means higher pressures it is the higher pressure maximum pressures exerted by the blood on the wall of the blood vessels and diastolic is the minimum pressures exerted by the blood while traveling on it it is during the relaxations of the heart 